In this video, you'll see how to get started with MSK Serverless. With this solution, you can create a serverless cluster for Amazon Managed Streaming for Apache Kafka, or Amazon MSK, that automatically provisions and scales compute and storage resources, so you can use Apache Kafka on demand and pay for the data you stream and retain. You can get started with MSK Serverless in just a few clicks. It also integrates with existing Kafka applications. The solution lowers operational overhead. Instead of managing your own cluster infrastructure, you can use your time to solve customer problems. MSK Serverless is cost-effective, especially for highly variable workloads. It allows for on-demand streaming capacity. Each cluster can sustain 200 megabytes per second of write capacity. Read capacity is capped at 400 megabytes. MSK clusters utilize partitions for scaling. Each partition can allocate up to 5 megabytes of write capacity and 10 megabytes of read capacity. MSK Serverless offers throughput-based pricing. The fixed cost for running a cluster is $0.75 cents per hour. Data and partitions costs are directly related to throughput. Storage costs vary based on throughput and data retention plans. Load balancing within Kafka relies on partition placement. MSK Serverless offers auto partition placement. It is also fully compatible with Apache Kafka. MSK Serverless offers the same level of security as provisioned MSK. For private and secure connectivity, all cluster resources are placed within an Amazon MSK VPC, and your clients, your producers and consumers, are placed within your own VPC. MSK Serverless also offers the same high availability as MSK. When creating an MSK Serverless cluster, partitions are placed across three availability zones. To get started, let's navigate to MSK and create a serverless cluster. We'll choose Custom Create as the cluster creation method and give our cluster a name. We'll leave serverless selected as our cluster type. A description of default cluster throughput and storage is provided. Let's proceed to the next screen. Here we'll enter our networking information. We can create up to five VPC configurations to connect our clients to our MSK serverless cluster. We'll just create one configuration. We can choose any VPC in our account. Next, we'll provide our subnet information. We're required to provide subnets for at least two availability zones. We'll retain the default security group. We are alerted that serverless clusters require AWS Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role-based authentication. Let's continue to the next screen. We're provided with a description of the default metrics that will be reported in Amazon CloudWatch for our cluster. We also have the option to create custom tags. Let's proceed to the final screen. Here, we can review the settings that we have selected for our serverless cluster. Now we can create our cluster, which takes approximately five minutes. For demonstration purposes, however, we have some clusters that are ready to use. We'll be using both a provisioned cluster and a serverless cluster in this demonstration. Now let's navigate to our Integrated Development Environment, or IDE, and connect with the producer and consumer environments for our serverless cluster. We're using the AWS Cloud9 IDE, but other IDEs can be used. From the left window, we'll produce data to our cluster. From the right window, we'll consume data from our cluster in real time. First, we'll produce the data to the provisioned cluster and consume data from it. Then, we'll show how to use the same client to produce and consume data using the serverless cluster. We'll set an environment variable called BS, short for bootstrap string. To get the BS value, we'll go to our provisioned cluster and copy the private endpoint. Next, we'll perform an echo command to confirm that our variable was set. We'll set another environment variable with the same value on the producer side. Again, we'll perform an echo command to confirm that our variable was set. Our next step is to create a Kafka topic. We'll copy the command for creating a topic from the MSK Developer Guide. We only need the last part of this command. Let's run our copied topic creation command. 
we have already created this topic, so we can ignore the error related to the topic already existing. We'll run a list command to view our already created topic. Next, we'll set up our producer. Let's go back to the MSK Developer Guide. We'll copy the command for creating a Kafka console producer. We'll paste our copied command. Our Kafka console producer has now started. Now we'll start our Kafka console consumer to see messages that are piped through to our topic. Again, we can copy the command we need from the MSK Developer Guide. We'll import our bootstrap endpoint variable. The Kafka Consumer Console has now started, and messages are going through from producer to consumer. What we've shown so far has been on our provisioned cluster. Now we'll exit the consumer and producer on both sides. Next, we'll demonstrate the same operation on a serverless cluster. We'll use the same producer and consumer, but we'll change the bootstrap broker endpoint string to communicate with the serverless cluster. Back in Amazon MSK, we'll select our serverless cluster. Let's copy the bootstrap endpoint string and then return to our IDE. We'll reset our BS environmental variable to our serverless bootstrap endpoint. Let's confirm our variable is correct with the echo command. The bootstrap variable string has now changed. On our serverless cluster, we'll now create our topic like we did previously. Let's go back to our developer guide. We'll copy the portion of the command that we need. Let's paste and run our create topic command. With the topic created, we now need to start our Kafka console producer. Now we'll start our Kafka console consumer. Our Kafka console consumer is now running. Let's enter some text in the producer window to see if it appears in the consumer window. The message was successfully sent to our serverless cluster. You've just seen how to get started with MSK Serverless. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.